So this boat, if I push the trim into the up position, here, just click, same down. Just clicks, doesn't run in either direction. The reason for that, this is your trim pump. This is basically the same on every Mercruiser drive. Now there's two little solenoids right down here and one switches to provide power to go up, the other switches to provide power to go down. It's a reversing system. You don't really need to understand entirely how it works, but if one or both of those solenoids goes bad, you can lose one direction or both directions of travel. It's rare to see the motors actually go bad. It's quite likely the solenoid. So let me show you what we're gonna do in order to test this. First thing we need to do is find your battery, disconnect it because the um, screws in order to get to that trim solenoid are live. So we don't wanna short anything out and burn up wires or fuses. So let's disconnect our battery. Pulled the positive post off the battery, just because that one was nice and easy to get to. If we come back over here to our trim solenoids and everything, you see why this is important to disconnect that? Because we need to get this screw out and we're going to be shorting out to other stuff here and we don't want to feed power through the pump or cause issues with wires or fuses. So we're going to unscrew that. Pop that little plate off. And here you can see the center here is constant power. That's 12 volt from the battery connecting to either of these. And so one direction puts positive to the blue with a white stripe. And the other one puts positive to the green with a white stripe. And then ground comes in to the pump on this black wire. So if one of these solenoids goes bad, you lose one direction. If both of these solenoids go bad, you lose both directions. So in order to test if it's the solenoid or something else, we need to go back to our battery. I'm just going to put this back on. Temporarily. That's on there enough. With that solenoid exposed where we can see it, we can test again here with our switch. Just clicks going down, just clicks going up. Knowing that it only clicks when we push the button, if we take and connect our screwdriver across these big terminals, <laughs> runs in that direction. And then I may have to use this smaller bit here in this direction. So the motor runs and it runs fine in both directions, which tells us our solenoids are bad. So we need a pair of these solenoids. And basically I would recommend just replacing them one wire at a time. So I'm going to disconnect that battery again so that nothing can get shorted out while we're replacing these solenoids and then I'm going to take one wire at a time off of these old solenoids and place it into the same position on the new solenoids and we'll come back when I'm done. Here's what we use to get this job done. We have an 11 30 seconds deep socket, a 3 8 deep socket, and a 7 16 deep socket along with the corresponding quarter inch ratchet also got a screwdriver. Ultimately, we only need a Phillips, but I love these uh, six-in-one screwdrivers because they're really handy. And I just needed an adjustable wrench to get the battery terminal off. I've got the new solenoids all in, wired, and the battery is reconnected. So let's run up to the control box and see if these work. These have a soft up and then a hard up. That hard up is the trailer position. When you're normally boating, you'll have down 
and up. But with this boat on the trailer, we have to kick it all the way into that second up position to bypass the safeties so that it will go all the way into the trailer position. But as you can hear, our new solenoids are working happily up and down. So that's that. Those new solenoids are working good. We can put our little cover plate back on and we are done. Well, there you have it. That is how you can replace those solenoids on a Mercruiser drive, whether it's an Alpha or Bravo, and get the tilt and trim working again. So, thanks for watching.